Radley has flown into battle. Oh, good boy, I forgot about that. Hopefully that can shut people up who the won't. It won't. Also, welcome back to Wind Waker HD. Let's have a smash again for an entire episode. Well, it is a big thing, isn't it? It's kind of smash. Anyway, we will be off to save our sister, but first, I want to stop by one place. Two places, actually. Let, let's, save, let's save our sister from the clutches of evil and possibly God knows what's been done to her. But first, I could do some. To this quote H.C. Bailey, when the world is in imminent peril, the best that is the best time to do sideways. Now, you don't have to come here now. Because coming here now gets you nothing. But I like to do that. Because I just like reading this dialogue. How are we doing, Bold Wilson? Oh, there's a yellow guy over here. Oprah? <laughs> uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was reading TV tropes about this, about Wind Waker. Right a bit of fridge horror here. You know how Ganondorf said the Master Sword lost its, its touch? Well, we didn't get to that in this part, but yeah. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not even near that yet. Well, we, well, it's not like they don't know Ganondorf exists. Well, I mean, we've kind of already established that, so let's just continue. You know how he said the Master Sword is losing its bane? Yes. That means he is dying. <laughs> oh, good. A lot of the fans will be happy then. <laughs> Well, we'll, start point, I'm that, sure we'll, we'll start just... blighting that thing just to give her an extra push. I don't mind fate, to be honest. I've seen worse. Like, I like Fee's snarkiness. Like, she does a good job making you sound stupid. Although I will give people the point of she does pop up a lot more often than she should. But even then, it's not that bad. 5,000 rubies! It's over 5,000! Let's not put this image into your head. We just found a sacred fairy of all-knowing and magical power. She, <laughs> and she tossed the bag at us and told us to leave. Oh, what? Here, take this bag. No, it is not. No, I'm not going to give you any money. Say something better, hero. Uh. <laughs> anyway, it's I... The only reason I stopped by that fairy house is because it's two squares to the right of the Forsaken Fortress anyway. Why is it called the Forsaken Fortress? More like the old rickety hell hole. Well, that doesn't have alliteration. It's true. Alliteration isn't cool, it's lazy. Well, no, alliteration is actually surprisingly hard to do. You have to put on your You have the master sword. Yes, the all-knowing sword. Oh, I predict you have an 85 cent oh, for chance of losing it. <laughs> anyway, it's time to it's time to start a descent. With no one sense. thing. <laughs> this guy. Also, no, Oprah? I do not do the bottle twitch. <laughs> no, that is not Oprah. <laughs> that is Phantom Ganon. Yes, one of the many recurring enemies. I say that like there's only a few recurring enemies in this game. And I would say this, I take him down a lot faster than I've ever taken him down before. I think Phantom Ganon has only been in three games. Bad news. Well, first combo. Yeah, three games. This is Ocarina of Time and Portal of Adventures, which is canon, by the way. I don't know how I managed to do that from that angle. Hey, shit. Oh, you're dead. Boom, bitch. Get out the way. Get out the way, Not bitch. Dude. Get out the way. <laughs> that took, what, a minute? <laughs> Oh, Speaking of the bottle track, it reminds me of something I read once. Uh, 
Apparently in Ocarina of Time, you can't use the Megaton hammer, hammer and skull to it. This is an inside on. joke it's programmed in, because like, okay, okay, it was added because Anuma once saw a spider and he tried to hit it with a hammer, failing constantly. Oh, Anuma, you should know, spiders are faster than a hammer. It's just coming from a guy who has seen a spider slowly drop down the side of his face while he was trying to sleep. Needless to say, I didn't go to sleep for about an hour after that. Speaking of hammers? Yes, the Megaton Hammer. Or the Skull Hammer. The Skull Hammer. I keep forgetting that. And I didn't mean to pull that out. Hmm, no, that's satisfying. Yeah. Oh yes, the Skull Hammer. The Megaton Hammer counterpart, part, and this light is being annoying. Light, I can't see shit. Fuck off. I love how they're not even trying to stop you now. now. They're just like, yeah, we can stop him, but he's got the Master Sword. Also, there are a lot of cannons around this place, but they don't really fire at you. Yes, as you can clearly see, the Master Sword is way stronger than our old sword. And it will only get more obscure from now. Indeed. Well, later on in the game, we get our usual one-hit kill weapon. Ah, uh, excuse me. Johnny Sephiroth! Oh, that old joke. I'm not letting that joke it's, die. It's a shame we don't have the, um, Goron big Goron's dagger. Unfortunately. No giant sword unless you pick up an enemy sword. What do you call it? I call it the big Goron's toothpick. I just call it the Goron's knife. It's a big toothpick. Also, I'm not sure if taking these lights stop anything, but I think... Once you're up to where your sister is, or you're sidling across that edge, I think if the light spots you, they'll start firing bombs. You hear your, um, Wind Waker's on, like, the directional pad? C can you sign anything else to any of those other buttons? To the directional pad? Yeah. Mm, nope. The directional pad is only for a few select items. The only one I could think of is Wind Waker. Well, the only one you can see on here is Wind Waker. And really, when you're not when you're not on the boat, that's the only thing that's on that that's on the D pad. Because mm. besides that, the rest is just boat stuff. Yeah. Except down on the D pad, down doesn't do anything. It's just like down so lonely when you play Wind Waker. It's like left gets freaking bombs, right gets the grappler hook, but down. Down gets nothing. Just kind of down. You seem to have a running thing of just like running into thorns. <laughs> I'm not paying attention. Ladies and gentlemen, I was literally recording this last night. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? No, we are not there yet. Are there yet? No. Are there yet? No. Are you there yet? No. Am I? No! No one is there yet! Jesus. Anyway, as you can clearly see, ascending this fortress is a lot faster than the first time. That's because we literally have n not. With that, that, damn it! One part, one part. I wanna go without babbling. Words they fail me so. As I was trying to say, this is a lot. Once each. again, Meteor has been subverted. Oh, that's good. <laughs> and now I've lost my train of thought. Also, that pig statue shoots lasers. Yes, and he has for the win. 
going about traversing through this place a lot easier. Right, 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 right. Traversing this place is a lot easier because you don't have to worry about shit. Uh, I didn't really see. Did you have to worry about shit in the first place? And the first time you went through it, you have to worry about getting caught. No, I thought you said shit, yeah, as in... Oh, I know this place is run down, but you never had to deal with plumbing problems. Okay, that's bad. Oh yeah, I can't remember where they are, but there are, uh... Floor Masters in this place. <laughs> oh, Floor Masters. Yep. But hey, we get the less creepy version of the Floor Masters in this game. They're still annoying. They're still annoying, but they're not as creepy. The Floor Masters really that scary originally. They look like seven hands. Again, I wouldn't necessarily call them scary, but they're yeah, creepy oh. enough. Especially when they just catch you off guard. Really, the only draw that makes a floor master scary is jump scare. True. But even then, the game what? tends to tell you when they're like in a room. Speaking of jump scare, I remember seeing this on Facebook. Apparently, Microsoft is talking about possibilities of a Minecraft 2. I am dead serious. No, I read the article. IG and asked them, and Microsoft said we're not wanting to make oh, one. Because that's stupid. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm glad we did that earlier. Why yeah, that. Well, make a Minecraft too? That would be just like making a TF3. What I love is that people didn't actually read the article and really like hated on Microsoft for making a Minecraft 2 and when we didn't read it because Microsoft clearly said we're not going to make one, we're just going to try and focus on the community more. Yeah, the thing that arc would probably spawn because one guy was just saying stupid shit. It was like it was like an it was like an IGN interviewer just said, like, "So do you think we'd get a Minecraft 2 at all?" Mm -hmm. He's the idiot for even suggesting something. Next like time, that. guys, we literally save our sister. She's right there. Are you there yet? 